Before beginning, clean around the main and all the components of the safety stopper prior to use. Failure to clean the pipe and the T may allow the safety stopper assembly to move and gas to escape. Once clean, loosen the T plug slightly in order to break the seal. This will also make it easier to remove the plug remotely when the safety stopper assembly is mounted. Select the correct size aluminum disc with the embedded O-rings to be placed on top of the boss of the T. Fit the cap housing on top of the disc and secure it with the chains. Make sure the disc is seated on the recessed lip inside the cap housing. Attach the turnbuckle to the chain hooks on the cap housing. Tighten the chains alternately. Once the chains are tight, tap the chains around the pipe with a hammer to crush any scale that may be on the pipe to ensure the assembly will not move during the operation. And then tighten the chains again. Fit the ball valve onto the cap housing. It's always a good idea to open and close the ball valve to check if it's working properly. Fit the viewport onto the ball valve. Then fit the quick connect air test assembly and open the bleeder valve. Attach a pump to the Schrader connection and air test the assembly for 5 minutes at 15 psi. When the air test is complete, remove the gauge assembly and open the bleeder valve to vent off the excess air. Remove the viewport. Now we are ready to remove the plug. Assemble the plug removal tool by inserting the T-handle shaft into the threaded adapter housing. Choose the correct square plug adapter. Insert the T-handle shaft into the plug adapter. To do this, simply line up the shaft dimple with the plug adapter set screw and tighten using the hex key. Retract the assembly into the threaded adapter housing and tighten onto the ball valve. Make sure the ball valve is open and the bleeder valve is closed. Push down on the T-handle shaft so the plug adapter lines up with the plug. So now you're able to loosen the plug. Once you feel the plug skip, then bring the shaft up into the threaded housing. Close the ball valve and bleed off any remaining gas. Remove the threaded adapter housing. Remove the captured plug from the plug adapter. Fit the viewport onto the ball valve. Open the ball valve and use a flashlight to look down onto the main. Determine the size and shape of the hole. If the hole is concentric or round, then a tapered threaded well plug can be installed at this time. If the hole is out of round or a burn hole, then the hole will need to be over drilled in order to install a tapered threaded well plug. We will show this step a little later. Insert the properly sized tapered threaded weld plug into the adapter. Place a small piece of thread seal mastic around the bottom half of the weld plug. Press the mastic into the threads with your finger. Remove the plug adapter and then fit the tapered threaded well plug adapter onto the T-handled shaft. Then tighten the set screw 
using the hex key. Fit the extension housing on top of the ball valve. Retract the tapered threaded weld plug adapter tool into the threaded housing and tighten into the extension housing. Open the ball valve and push the T-handle down until it stops at the main. Tighten the tapered threaded weld plug into the hole as tight as you can. Do not use a wrench or cheater bar. Once tight, retract the T-handle shaft, then open the bleeder valve and vent off the excess gas that remains. Once you no longer hear the sound of blowing gas, the service has been stopped successfully. Remove the extension housing. And fit the viewport to make sure the tapered threaded weld plug is seated properly. At this point, if the T is being reused, service connections can be made with the assembly in place. Once service connections are complete, the tapered threaded weld plug can be removed to energize the service and the plug returned to the T. If the service is to be abandoned, the entire assembly can now be removed. Remove the viewport and then the ball valve. Loosen the chains and remove the cap housing and disc. Next, remove the T. Shown here is the tapered threaded weld plug. The plug actually cuts its own threads, and when used with the thread seal mastic, it will produce a gas tight seal, stopping the flow of gas. Now all that is left is the coupling. Tighten a malleable plug into the coupling to complete the operation and check for leaks. Now we will show the removal of the taper threaded weld plug. This is done for two main reasons. To energize a service when the T is reused, or to perform the overdrilling operation of an out of round or burn hole, thus creating a concentric hole for weld plug insertion in order to stop the flow of gas. Shown here is the entire assembly after the tapered thread weld plug has been inserted. With the viewport removed, Match the lip edge of the tapered threaded weld plug's assembly's threaded housing with the edge of the extension housing. This will make it easy to identify the necessary travel needed to remotely capture the weld plug's hex head. Then draw a reference mark on the shaft. Retract the T-handle shaft and thread it onto the extension housing. Open the ball valve, push down on the T-handle shaft until you see your reference mark. Adjust the shaft until you feel the socket engage onto the tapered threaded weld plug's hex head. Now completely loosen the plug and retract it into the extension housing. Close the ball valve and open the bleeder valve to vent 
the excess gas. Remove the tapered threaded weld plug assembly. Next, remove the tapered threaded weld plug adapter and pull out the T-handle shaft. Insert the hex end of the drill shaft into the threaded adapter. It's a good idea to measure the travel of the shaft so you know the drill is touching the main when beginning the drilling operation. To do this, match the lip of the threaded housing with the edge of the extension housing. Make sure the shaft is straight and the drill bit touches the main. Then draw a reference mark on the shaft. Retract the drill shaft and tighten onto the extension housing. Connect the air drive, then open the bowl valve. Push the drill shaft down to the reference mark. Now you may begin drilling. Manually push down on the air drive to apply consistent pressure. Only apply enough force without stalling the motor. Once the shaft drops, you have successfully drilled through the main. Release the trigger on the air drive and retract the shaft into the housing. Hold the drill shaft in one hand and close the ball valve. Open the bleeder valve to vent the remaining gas. Remove the drill shaft assembly and remove the shaft from the threaded housing. Insert the T-handle assembly into the threaded housing. Apply the thread seal mastic to the weld plug and assemble the tapered threaded weld plug adapter. Tighten the tapered threaded weld plug assembly onto the extension housing Open the ball valve and push down on the shaft to insert the plug into the drill hole. Tighten the tapered threaded weld plug as tight as you can. Do not use a wrench or a cheater bar. When tight, retract the T-handled shaft and open the bleeder valve. Once you no longer hear the sound of blowing gas, the service has been stopped. Remove the tapered threaded weld plug assembly and then tighten the viewport onto the extension housing. Use a flashlight and look down into the viewport and check that the tapered threaded weld plug is seated properly. If all looks good, the entire assembly is removed. Loosen the chains and remove the cap housing. Remove the T from the coupling. Shown here is the tapered threaded weld plug that's in the main. To complete the operation, Tighten the malleable plug in the coupling and check for leaks.